it looks like you did a wrong turn like off the movie wrong turn and y'all probably like you love this more than the first one the venue that we chose was the hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey girl hey or hey boy hey my name is cameron and i'm so glad that you decided to click on this video if you have some time go ahead and check out some of my previous videos and if you decide that you like me and my content go ahead and click that red subscription box below and subscribe to my channel now today we are going to view a venue for the wedding yes i know or searching for wedding venues for 2023 i know i feel like this time is gonna fly by i don't know i just want to take my time i don't want to be rushed and i do not want to be stressed so that's why we are going ahead and going to look at one venue today i have been searching for other venues so i won't just be set in stone on one venue i really want to get married in september of 2023 but this venue that we're going to look at today only has saturdays in august available and i really do not want a summer wedding i kind of want a fall wedding so we'll see it sounds like jacoby is pulling up so let me get my things and let's head out we made it home from touring the first venue angelo's garden and i'm gonna give y'all some pros and some cons i love i loved i love the scenery i love the atmosphere i love that it was so out in the open so quiet i feel like i would have a beautiful pictures out there i really don't have any cons except for the drive when you're going up there it looks very sketchy like it looks like you did a wrong turn like off the movie wrong turn it looks like you're in one of those movies but if you get past all of that and you go out to the venue it's beautiful do i want to tour something else like godly another pro that i have was that they had an option where they would do everything the wedding coordinating floral arrangements pictures the videography all i have to do is come and bring my dress and I love that. I love that because I do not want to be stressed. I don't want to be one of those brides that's just like, I'm just so ready to get this day over with. No, I really want to enjoy the moment, enjoy my day, and just relax and be Mrs. Singleton. That's really what I want to do. Of course, with all of that, it's the price. I am taking that into account too because, you know, a wedding is just one day. And I know that it's basically, you're basically paying to show everybody 
money that hey i got married so i am thinking about that too like do i really want my daddy to pay all this money for my wedding some things to think about but we both really like the venue that we see today. They truly made it harder for the other venues that we may go look at. But if we are talking about getting married in 2023, August 2023, we need to get the ball rolling because that's like six, seven months away. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I think this vlog is just gonna be about us touring venues. So I will pick y'all back up when I schedule another tour for another venue and we'll go from there. Hey guys, welcome back to a new clip of this vlog. Today is Sunday the 8th, January the 8th, 2023. Yes, we've jumped a little bit ahead of time, but it's finally 2023. We are going to go look at another venue today. It's an open house for the Grandeur House from 1 to 3. We're gonna take y'all with us to see everything like we did before with Angelo's Garden. So let's get ready to go. I'm here to give y'all my thoughts on the venue that we looked at today. So, like I said before, we looked at the Grand Deer House. Um, again, <laughs> the location is kind of like how Angelo's Garden was. It didn't have as many hills and winding roads. It was pretty far outside the city limits. So that's one con. Another con is they don't have a September date. And we are looking to get married in the month of September of 2023. And we would even do August later in August, like that last weekend in August, but they didn't have that date available either. The only date they had available for August was the 19th and we can't do it that weekend. So we're gonna scratch that, but it was a beautiful place. I really, really love the bridal suite. That bridal suite was so gorgeous it was big it was up to date it just screamed bride and i love that look i like that this venue had a chapel separate from the reception banquet area i really like that and then just the overall white space i love i love that it was white it just felt very clean very wedding material it, look, it looked like a venue for a wedding so land is very quiet like the scenery around it is very beautiful i'm pretty sure like i can i can and bet you money that it would be even more beautiful in the summertime or in the beginning of fall when you know leaves are still on the trees and stuff unfortunately that is one um a venue that we're already gonna have to scratch off our list but we do have um at least two more coming we get into this thing y'all we praying and we hoping that we can find something and just get on rolling with this wedding plan and stuff but for now we're still searching so keep your fingers crossed 
else. So please forgive me because I ran off and forgot my camera. Luckily, I had my phone, so I just recorded on my phone the venue that we seen today. So the venue that we looked at was the venue at Oakdale. And y'all. this venue and y'all probably like you love this more than the first one i love the location i love how classy it looks i love that it has an indoor chapel let me list out my pros it has an indoor chapel the location is still inside the city limits i love the stairwell in the reception area i can see the vision oh, lord jesus y'all did y'all see the bridal suite I really want this one to be the one for me. I really want it. I'm, I'm crossing my fingers, hoping and hoping and hoping that this one is the one for me that the Lord says, yes, I'll let you have this one, child. They have several different bathrooms for our guests, so nobody would have to stand and wait in line. There, there are different bathrooms all around the building. I like that my guests wouldn't have to travel. The chapel is on the other side of the building, and then you come around to the reception area. Y'all, I just like this venue so much. Oh, I forgot to mention about the helicopter entrance and flying out. But one of my cons is they don't really have a package like angelo's garden where they offer everything they do everything for you the decorations the catering all of that they don't have one of those packages so it's just the venue that is my con or this whole venue they don't have a package deal where i could just pay well my daddies could just pay and i just show up i really like that package deal at angelo's garden i just do not like the location of angelo's garden it's a beautiful place i love the owners the owners are very very nice it's just your location Location is horrible. I don't want anybody coming to my wedding thinking that they didn't took a wrong turn because of the location of the venue. I'm so sorry, but that's just my preference. So if we do go with this venue, we would have to hire a florist, a planner, a decorator, all of that on our own. We'd have to find different vendors, catering vendors and everything like that. 
on our own. And I say that's a con for me because it's more work that I would have to do during this wedding planning process. And I just do not want to be stressed out. That's my number one thing. I don't want to be stressed out planning this wedding. I want everything to run smoothly. Oh, another con. You cannot get in there a day before to decorate. You have to decorate the day of and take down after, you know, festivities are over. Mm -hmm. I guess if we go with their preferred vendors list, they're used to that type of stuff. But that seems kind of stressful to me because I would like to see everything done the day before. That way we just show up, get dressed, have fun. We don't have to worry about somebody coming in saying, oh, we don't have this, we don't have that. I don't want to think negative. It's going to be a smooth sailing wedding planning process. And I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, they have September dates available. Yes, we don't need to wait till the last minute, honey. Mm -mm. We do have one more venue to go look at tomorrow. This one that we've just seen, it did move up. It moved up. <laughs> so I guess I'll pick y'all back up tomorrow when we are headed to see the one in Conway. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, guys, so happy Tuesday. We're moving right along this week with venue hunting. Today we are going to Conway to view Legacy Acres. So I found this venue on Instagram and it looked beautiful online. So I cannot wait to see how it looks in person. So let's get ready to go. We are back. We made it back um, from viewing Lexi Acres and I don't know y'all. I don't know. We stuck now. The first two venues that we've seen, they're scratched out. But these last two venues we've seen was like, like, woo, we don't know what to do. And let me give y'all my pros and my cons for today's venue. Today's venue was in Conway, Arkansas. And then our guests would probably stay in Little Rock. So that's like a 30 minute drive, 30 to 40 minute drive from Little Rock. So one con is the location. It is in the middle of a farm and you are going through neighborhoods and you feel like you're doing the wrong turn. Kind of like Angelo's Garden and the Grandeur House, but it's not as bad. It's not a bad drive it's not as bad as theirs but there is a little bit of a drive so the location is one con and then the other con is they do not have an option to do everything in-house like decorations photography catering all of that they don't have that option the only venue that had that option was angelo's garden 
Another con is the look on the outside. We pulled up, it kind of reminded us of a plantation. It gave us plantation vibes. But as you can see, when you look on the inside, it's so beautiful. So let's roll into the pros. One of my pros was the chandeliers, y'all. The chandeliers were so beautiful. Like going into that chapel and just seeing the chandeliers on the ceiling, I was like, Oh my gosh. And then speaking of the chapel, the chapel was very spacious. The lady was like, you know, it's not really that big once all of the chairs are in there, but baby, sweetheart, ma'am, <laughs> this chapel is huge. One thing Kobe did like was the background of the chapel. He loved that tree in the background. He said that is a great photo op. You can see how the pictures would turn out so beautifully. The ballroom, that chandelier was... <laughs> That chandelier was nice too. I like the spaceness in the ballroom, even though, you know, some of the columns, they took up a little bit of space, but overall, I feel like the building is very spacious. You can have access to the bottom floor and the top floor. Another pro that I really like was a wide variety of parking spaces. You could have up to 300 plus guests in this specific venue. And I really like that because we don't want to run out of vehicle space. You know, we want everybody to be able to park comfortably to get into the wedding. And then another pro is the deposit. The deposit isn't as outrageous as other venues that we looked at. I feel like this deposit here is a little bit more reasonable. Granted that this venue is more than yesterday's venue, but we do get access to the building Friday, the Friday before the wedding, and as well as Saturday, the Saturday of the wedding. So I really, really like that aspect just because if we have to get in and decorate the day before, we can and we won't have to worry about spending extra money trying to get inside and decorate because I really didn't like the fact that we couldn't get into the building with the last venue the day before without paying. You would have to decorate the same day. I don't like that because anything could happen. You don't know if somebody could have forgotten something and then your whole wedding, your whole wedding day is thrown off. And I don't want to be stressed with that. Kobe doesn't want to be stressed with that. We want a smooth sailing wedding day. We have a little bit of praying and um, asking God for guidance <laughs> to do within these next couple of days because both venues have the September 16th available and we want to go ahead and secure a venue so we can go on and proceed with the rest of the planning process and we don't want our dates to be taken trying to you know figure out which venue we're gonna go with so it's gonna be a lot of praying um a lot of discernment and all of that and hopefully and hopefully god will steer us into the right direction and we will go from there but until then well i'm not gonna let y'all marinate on what decision we made because the next clip you will know <laughs> I'll come back um, in a few days and I will let y'all know which venue we decided to go with hopefully you'll be as excited as we are I shall see y'all in a few days after we pray and send in our deposit see ya all right <laughs> So it's been, it's been probably like a month since I've checked in with y'all. I'm sorry. The long awaited was not long awaited. The venue that we chose was the Legacy Acres. That is the venue that we chose for our wedding. We just loved it. We loved the chandeliers. We loved the openness. We loved the space. I mean, it was just so spacious. We had to up our guest count. So I was like, yeah, this is, this is gonna be comfortable for everybody, hopefully. I cannot wait. I just know September is just gonna come swiftly. Um, so we're trying to lock down and get everything loaded and in order before then so we could have a smooth sailing wedding experience. Um, but yes, that's, that's it. We chose Legacy Acres and there will be more content to come. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And comment down below what 
venue did you like the most? Did you like Legacy Acres too? Or did you like um, Oakdale? Or did you like the Grandeur House? Let me know. Let me know. But as always, I thank y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.